It is so easy to be a skeptic as a content creator and even as an entrepreneur, especially nowadays when it feels everybody's doing it and you don't really know if what you're doing is really worth it. And I'm trying to be better about, I understand that baby steps can still get you somewhere. I am having a hard time acknowledging and being appreciative of the smaller victories that I have. I try to remember that it's important to do that as much as possible because one day I'm going to look back and when people ask me, how did you get here and what made you so successful? It's so easy to go into the big stuff that a lot of times where people get frustrated with big creators is what was the little stuff? That's part of why I even started this whole vlog in the first place to be able to show like, no, this was over time. I'm not hiding anything. This is me struggling to accomplish something that feels so big and so hard to imagine that when it does happen, it's truly unbelievable. But it can be because I'll be able to look back and be like, no, look at the progress. Look at every moment that I took. I am definitely not someone who can easily accept that I did little things to get here because I'm waiting for the big ones. I'm waiting for all of the major accomplishments to come in. It's very easy to be so focused on the bigger picture that we don't see the small details coming together to make that big picture. I am definitely someone that often overlooks the small victories that I've had. Uh, it's tough. I don't want to end up in the same place that I was when I first was doing the podcast full time and was making headway in generating actual income and being consistent in the content creation and making my everyday be working on the show and being able to control my own time. I burnt out really bad. I couldn't connect with what I was doing anymore. It's not that I didn't like the work. I actually really enjoyed all of that. I've just recognized that I was struggling because I couldn't connect with the content anymore. I was so overwhelmed with pushing myself and what felt like forcing myself to do something that I really didn't want to do that it made it really hard to see how far I'd come. When I decided to go all in and doing this without pursuing another job after getting laid off, really wanted to ensure that no matter what, I was continuing to focus on what actually connected with me and to ensure that I appreciate this moment that I'm having and the time that I'm spending and the room to expand into all these different avenues of what I want to accomplish with everything. Because this isn't just about building a business to make money and stability for myself. Yes, that is a big part of it. I want to acknowledge that I'm privileged to be able to do this. I don't want to hide that I have the room to do this. I wanted to ensure that every step that I took, I did it from a place that I truly connected with. I just didn't want it to be from a place of desperation, from a place of, I have no other choice. If this doesn't hit it, I'm gonna be homeless. I didn't want that. I would rather go look for another job than for it to get that because that's stability. I had to have kind of a, a level set with myself of, if I don't start incorporating what I can do, what I have done, what has been working into this, <laughs> I'm gonna burn out again and then I'm gonna be right back where I started of not having the discipline to turn the camera on and, and say something or get a, a podcast episode recorded or make sure I'm creating or editing or whatever it is that needs to be done because there's going to be things that you don't want to do that you're going to have to do in order to progress. I'm having to really shake the hell out of myself, if you will, of, hey, you're doing something. Hey, it's slow, but it's happening. Did it take a second? Yeah. After being laid off, and being able to take a lot of these ideas that I had scattered and actually bring them together. And then I see this session that I had that just happened to be 
the first session that I had after getting laid off and me having to tell my therapist, I got laid off and here's what I'm thinking and here's where I'm at. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but to be able to take that and just edit it, I'm really saying some shit. And I'm like, I said that? That was good. <laughs> it's just crazy of, oh, okay. <laughs> There's something here. And so I need to appreciate that. I want to bring my podcast back to life. I want to pivot what I'm talking about and broaden it a bit. I don't want to necessarily go completely away from it, but I want to expand it more. But I also don't want it to consume me so much. That's all that I am. I'm also this other person. This is also an aspect of who I am, which is the back end, the thoughts, the feelings that I'm having as I'm going through this, the struggles. Like, I don't want to hide that piece. I don't want it to just see, hey, here's this polished thing that I'm putting in front of you. I have to acknowledge that what I'm doing is not easy. As much as people might say, anybody can turn a camera on and record themselves doing stuff or saying what they're doing, whatever. I'm showing proof though. I'm showing proof that I'm doing the work. You're seeing the content come out. You're seeing all this stuff. You're seeing everything. And no, I'm not going to turn the camera on every time that I have a shitty day. Um, but I don't mind talking about it afterwards. I know I need to appreciate those moments. But I think it does help to acknowledge the things that you have done, even if it's just for yourself, because it does boost your confidence. It does help you realize, yeah, like I did, a, I got a lot done. I have to build that resilience. I have to build that confidence in acknowledging that I'm doing something. And what I have done is enough. And even though there might still be more stuff to do, it doesn't make me any less of a person or any less valuable if there's still something else to do. I think there's something to be said about that. And I'm wanting to do little things to help me recognize ways to accept and feel good about the small things I am doing and am accomplishing. One of them is I try to create some kind of routine or ritual. Instead of always doing gaming streams, I have started doing co-working streams, body doubling streams. But now I'm just like, you know what? Do it for keeping you honest about getting some of the admin stuff done. And I noticed that I do actually get a lot more done. And I have my little list on screen and my community on Twitch can get involved as well. And indirectly, because it's recording, I'm helping myself create footage to use for content. And when I do finish it, it feels really good. I try to stream at least three days a week with doing some type of co-working thing. And then on days that I stream uh, outside of that, it's for fun trying to have visual reminders so I have a little checklist that it makes a noise when you complete the whole list. Vegas rules, lots of lights and visual things or sounds of, hey, you did it, I body double with my friends. And I'll say, hey, I did this, I completed this, and they give me the visual or audio reassurance of, hey, good job, I'm glad you were able to complete that. And I do the same for them. Sometimes it's just rewarding myself of little things of, you know what? I did all of this stuff, so I get to order myself lunch. Because then one, it's giving me a problem to solve of cool, I wanna work towards this, I want this reward, I want this dopamine hit. Solving a problem gives me a dopamine hit. <laughs> hey, I figured this out, I did this. Rewarding myself some kind of way because of that is helpful. Having those visual reminders that I did something is helpful. Creating a routine that leads to that success is helpful. People talk about mindfulness and journaling and writing down three things that you're grateful for, all that stuff like that. It feels cheesy at first, but it really does help. The more I'm able to do that for myself of, okay, what's three things, no matter how big or small, that you accomplish this week that you feel really good about? Even if I don't always write it down or say it out loud, but it's something that I feel my mind starting to do and it makes me more inclined to do more stuff. Even if it's giving myself rest or grace, I think that's something that we don't acknowledge as much as we should. Of, you know what? This weekend, I rested. 
I know I had a lot I had to do. I know there was things that I wanted to make sure I'm doing on time, but I'm giving myself the flexibility in the space of realizing that I needed rest. I didn't even realize that I was actually losing sleep, <laughs> that I'd only been sleeping like three or four hours a night until it caught up with me at the end of the week. <laughs> and I might be seen as procrastinating on getting stuff done, but I'm really choosing to acknowledge that, no, I needed that rest. I really did. And even though it was hard to pull myself out of that rest in order to get the things done that I needed to get done, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to make myself feel bad for needing that. And I think this week, that's a big piece of what I need to remember is that having flexibility is important when you're appreciating what you're doing. If you needed rest or you needed to take a minute or whatever, then that's okay. There are plenty of things that you can feel good about right now that can give you the boost that you need to get to the next thing. Because it, I get it. We're always looking for a problem to solve, but there's nothing wrong with taking a second to pause from saving the world to acknowledge that, you know what, you did something. And even if nobody else sees it, you know it. And that is the biggest thing for myself that I have to remember is even if nobody else sees it, I know. And when I see people going in on people online of saying, we don't see you struggle enough, I try to remind myself that, you know what, just because others don't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. And so I'm going to celebrate for myself. No matter what happens, I'm going to appreciate that I have done what I needed to do to get there. And I don't have to share every little piece of that to appreciate it. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm keeping as my North Star. Celebrate now. Don't miss being in the moment either. Rest when you need to. Appreciate what you're doing. Even if it's one thing that day, appreciate it. And then keep going. Because it will all come together. It's just a matter of time.